guys, it's Kara from iStampin.com. Thanks for joining me on another one of my weekly deals wonder projects. I have this super cute project to show you and I have to give credit to Brenda Quintana. I saw this project on Pinterest and when I saw it, I was just like, I have to make it. It's so adorable and it's so much fun, but um, I incorporated one of our uh, weekly deals um, items in it and I'm going to be featuring the itty bitty banners. So that's what I use to cut out this banner here. But this is just the cutest little Hershey Kisses Christmas tree with the little Rolo um, down uh, as the tree holder. So I wanna show you how you can create these. It's so easy. They are just so adorable uh, to give out um, during the holidays um, to you know whoever you want to. I, I can't wait. I'm gonna make, all, I make a ton of these and give these out and hopefully I don't eat all the kisses, Hershey kisses as I'm making them. But let's get started. I wanna show you how to do this. It's super easy. So I'm just gonna put this off to the side. The first thing you are going to need to do is to get um, two uh, strips of uh, Cucumber Crush. That's the paper that I'm using today. And I cut this first strip to nine and three quarter inches by one inch. And then this second strip is going to be 11 inches by two inches. And so what we're going to do now is we're gonna get out our Simply Scoring tool and we're gonna do some scoring. So on the nine inch, nine and three quarters inch strip, you are going to score it three times. So you're gonna score at three inches, six and an eighth, and the eighth mark is the little hash right before the quarter inch mark and then nine and a quarter. So that was three, six and one eighth, and nine and one quarter inches. And then we'll go ahead and score this as well. Now this is our two inch by 11 inch piece and you are gonna score at every inch mark. So one inch, two inch, three and so forth until you get to 10 inches. Okay, so this strip, like I said, you need to score at every inch. Okay, so we're done with our Simply Scoring tool. And let's go ahead and get our small piece back. So what you're gonna do is just fold on all the score lines and then what we're going to do is we're gonna attach this little flap here to this part. And I'm gonna use our Tombow glue. So just put a little glue there. And then attach this flap. This is what's gonna make the frame of the Christmas tree. So you'll wanna hold it for a bit just to give it, uh, so it bonds well. And then glue's oozing out, just wipe it off. So there you can see that's the shape of our frame. So I'll just let that sit for a second. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this strip in half. So get out your Stampin' Trimmer. And then you are just going to cut this in half. So just um, move it to the one inch mark and then like I said, just cut this in half. So now you're gonna have two one inch by 11 inch strips and put one off to the side and then one of the strips you are going to cut at four inches. So just move it to your four inch mark and just cut that. All right, so now you have three strips. So you're gonna have a four inch strip a seven inch strip and then that 11 inch strip. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we are going to fold on all the score lines and this is the easiest way that I've found to do it. So you're gonna fold down twice, flip it over and then fold down twice again. And then you're just gonna repeat that step until you're at the end. So fold down twice, flip it over and fold down twice. And this is what's going to make the base where all the Hershey Kisses are gonna fit in. So you can see, actually it goes like that. So 
so you can see that it's gonna make all those little triangles. So we're gonna repeat the same thing with the seven inch strip. Fold twice downwards, then flip it over and fold twice, and then flip it over. And then we're gonna do the same thing with this. So you'll see that that just makes one triangle. All right, so now we can bring our uh, frame back in. Okay, so what you're gonna wanna do is to make sure that your tab that you glued together is at the bottom. So we're gonna start with the long piece first, and we are just gonna fit that into the tree. And you want the three triangles that are facing up at the bottom. So then next we're going to put the second layer in. And again, you want uh, the two triangles that are facing up and then this one right there. Okay, so that's our framework that we're gonna use and then we'll be able to put the Hershey Kisses in there. But before we do that, um, what you're gonna wanna do is to get your scissors and we're gonna put a little notch right here because that's where the uh, star is going to go. So what you're gonna wanna do is just kind of pinch the cardstock and you wanna go towards the front of the frame and just cut into the cardstock about a quarter of an inch down. So you can see that I've made that cut. And now we'll just bring our bowl in with our Hershey Kisses and we are just gonna start putting them into the tree. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna do all the ones that are facing up first. Okay, and then we'll go to this level. And while I'm doing this, I wanted to let y'all know that I have a group starting in January of my I Stampin' Club. Um, they're gonna be called the Gardenias. And I am looking for a couple of people to complete the group. So if you are interested in joining my I Stampin' Club, I will link it below in the video notes and you can read about it. And then if you wanna join, you'll just fill out the form and I'll get notification. Okay, so what you wanna do here is it gets a little tight, but it works out. Just, just shove that kiss in there. And sometimes you may have to kind of take some things out. But anyway, so back to my Ice Stampin' Club. So I've got two spots left. And like I said, this group will be starting in January, which is wonderful because um, you'll be able to take advantage of celebration, which is great. Okay, so we've got our Hershey's um, Kisses in there, and then you can kind of reshape the little frame if it gets a little wonky. And then what I've done is I have just used our star framelits and I've cut a, the smallest star out of our gold glimmer paper. And then you'll just wanna, with that little notch there, you'll just slide the star into the notch and just kind of force it down it's pretty tight, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't move. You shouldn't need any adhesive. And then um, you're gonna take a Rolo. This is gonna be our little stand. So you're gonna take a dimensional. 
And then what I did is I just put it on the top. See how it has that little divot? So just put your dimensional right there, take off the backing sheet, and then that's going to go right in the middle. And that's going to be our little stand. So it stands. I know you all can't see that, but how cute is that? So I wanted to finish it off and give it a little bit of decoration. And like I said, I wanted to use one of our weekly deal projects. So I am using the Oh What Fun stamp set. This is in our holiday catalog. I'm gonna use Merry Wishes. So I've just got a scratch piece of Whisper White paper. And like I said, I'm using the Bitty Banners. I always say Itty Bitty, so it's just Bitty Banners. Um, I'm gonna be using this banner uh, to cut out that piece. So I've got my stamp and I'm going to be using Real Red. So we're just gonna ink that up and then stamp down here where it says Merry Wishes. And then I'll put this banner right there and I'm gonna run this through the Big Shot. And y'all be sure to check out the other items that are on our weekly deal special. The Precision Plate is on there, that's on sale. I think it's $18 and some change. Um, the uh, really pretty iced rhinestones that are also in our holiday catalog are on sale. And then one of the, um, the masks, the heart and the stars masks are also on sale. So we've got some really good uh, items that are on sale this week. And of course, it's also while supplies last. So I'm just going to glue the uh, Merry Wishes right there. And what I did is I just got my glue dots and the easiest way I found to do this is just to take, you know, my scissors and then I'm just putting the glue dots right here on the frame because I know that I want to, I want it to go right at the top. I want it to go right at the top of the um, second layer. Okay, so just get two glue dots and that should be enough. Stick them right there. Come on. Okay. And then just put your banner right there. And how cute is that? Is that just not the cutest thing? I mean, wouldn't that just be so much fun to receive that from uh, somebody that, that's a good friend? All right, guys, I hope you loved today's Weekly Deals Wonder Project. Like I said, I used the Bitty Banners. I featured that product, and I made this really fun Hershey's Christmas tree just with some cardstock and some glimmer paper. It's so easy. So I hope you enjoyed it. Try it out. Let me know what you think. Um, if you make them, I would love to hear uh, what everybody thought about it when they got them. So um, give the project a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. Head on over to my blog, istampin.com, and subscribe to my blog as well so that you can stay up to date on all of my latest projects. All right, guys, have a fabulous week, and I will see y'all later this week. Bye.